Jury is being selected for the trial of a convicted felon who's accused of killing two Dallas hospital workers. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Police say Nestor Hernandez was visiting his girlfriend who had just given birth when he shot and killed two health care workers. It happened last year at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. He was out on parole for aggravated robbery wearing an ankle monitor at the time. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joins us with more. Alex. Hey guys, you know, jury selection has been going on all day, and I'm told that they are very close to seating a jury. Now, this, of course, is a very high profile case, uh, so much so that the Dallas County District Attorney has taken part in the questioning of those potential jurors. We're getting our first in person look at capital murder suspect Nestor Hernandez since his arrest for a double fatal shooting at Methodist Dallas Medical Center in October of last year. On Monday, Hernandez sat stoically inside a Dallas County courtroom as attorneys for both sides, including Dallas County District Attorney John Cruzeau, asked potential jurors a series of questions. And he was. Um they're visiting, I guess, his girlfriend. Or Russell Wilson is an attorney not involved in this case. On October 22nd, 2022, Hernandez was at the hospital's mother baby unit visiting his girlfriend who had recently given birth to their child. Investigators say that's when Hernandez began hitting his girlfriend with a pistol he brought in with him. Reports indicated he began acting strangely, indicated he would shoot the next person coming into the room. Uh, and then uh, nursing staff uh, were shot and killed. The first victim was 45-year-old Jacqueline Pakua, a hospital social worker who walked into the room to attend to the patient. Hernandez reportedly stood up, moved towards Pakua, and shot her. Police say Hernandez then fatally shot 63-year-old nurse Katie Annette Flowers, who looked into the room to investigate. Hey, watch out, man. Watch out. Part of the violent encounter was captured on a police officer's body camera. Methodist Medical System Sergeant Robert Rangel was just a few doors down investigating a stolen property report when the shooting happened. Investigators say he immediately engaged with Hernandez and shot him in the leg. Hernandez retreated into the room where a standoff ensued. He was ultimately arrested. No one else was injured. If convicted of a capital murder, Hernandez faces an automatic life sentence. When you think about what they need to prove on uh, the circumstance that the defendant finds himself in, I think the defense will have uh, a lot of challenges. And as we speak, the judge has told those potential jurors to take a break as lawyers make their decisions right now. That should mean that a jury will be seated by the end of today and testimony would begin tomorrow morning. Back to you. Okay, Alex, thanks.